color stories. This is a complex subject with a lot of different layers. Um, it is about these moments where we experience a situation under a certain angle, um, which is a distorted truth coming from our MK Ultra programming, which is the cause of much of our cognitive dissonance and denial here. And it's not so easy to exit denial because there is just a lot of layers of programming. So we often read a situation under an angle, but is it really how it's happening? Sometimes years later, you trace it back and you revisit the situation and you discover that there were other aspects at play that had to do with the true nature of what was going on. For example, you can have phases where you are breaking your programming and these Bigger phases can take a few days, like it's just like a whole process and it's just like a lot of walls collapsing in your own mind and you are suddenly, it's a very lonely process where you're starting to see through and the truth and you can have that about, you know, members in your family or, you know, big handlers. And it's just then there is this moment where it starts to collapse. And it's good news. Though it is challenging to go through it, to go through the deprogramming phase, to face the consequence and the choice that you have to make, you know, taking in consideration this new piece of information that you have. Things are not going to stay the same as they were And a lot is programmed not to feel so great in our deprogramming journey, but we have to be the ones who cheer up for ourselves, who love ourselves, you know, going through these processes. And, you know, you have to manage to put your mind above. So, you know, you see the, the big picture where, you know, a lot is laughable here even when it tries to create torture in your reality. And sometimes it does succeed to do it, but only for a brief moment of time. And it is so great when we can get to that place where you know, you know who you are now, you know, to the best of your ability now, but knowing who you are, you know it, you know? You don't need anyone to tell you who you are because you just know. And it's okay if a lot have inverted views and visions because we have to remember where we are here and that the vast majority haven't deprogrammed much the MK Ultra programming. So there is a lot of work for everybody, you know, and some will never really access the deeper layers of deprogramming in this life, you know. And these are not the beings, you know, where it's pleasant to interact with because they are so stuck in so many layers. Sometimes they're stuck in other realms as well. So on a quantum level, it influences what's going on here as well. So these covers cover and false memories, false moments that are created and lived and experienced. We see them so often. You know, that's why celebrities who are real are allowed to talk in interviews that are usually short. You find a great amount of short interview online. First, they have a lot of uh, handler interviewers. A lot are spiritless there to trigger them or to heavily control the conversation. Um, but because they, these celebrities mainly talk about the false moments 
that they think they are experiencing, but it's not the real root of what's going on in their life. So they talk about the handlers, these collaborations they're having, you know, but it's only the surface stories there. And these are hiding the root of our true experience here. When you revisit to a different angle, that is when you are piercing through these cover and false memories. So it's also about this ability of ours to question what has been going on and to ask ourselves, wait a minute, what did really happen behind the surface? You will sometimes find inner self-lock programming due to MK Ultra or self-sabotage programmings. They are installed within us to make sure to slow down our deprogramming journey, to make sure it's really, you know, encountering a lot of obstacles. We find a lot of cover stories as well with, you know, a lot of what is being shared in the press. We find, you know, a lot of campaigns that are hiding under the cover of, you know, social action, uh, human rights, environment protection, uh, these kind of things, right? Philanthropy. But, you know, we know that a lot of these operations are engineered. They are just proposed to cause distraction, to occupy the way we spend our time or focus or conversation, the content of our conversation on site, online. You know, it's all designed to saturate our lives so much so there is not a, any space left for, you know, what is real and our true deprogramming journey, which is the one thing that nobody can rub away from you, you know. The systems, you know, you can find a lot of things and the material things can be certainly rubbed away from you, disappear from one, one day to the next. But your deprogramming journey, you take it with you wherever you go and you can create from there, from scratch. And that's the beauty of it and that's the power of it as well. So we also find a lot of cover stories in, you know, for example, festivals like Burning Man, where, you know, they pretend so much it's about hard art, but it's mostly about self-indulging behaviors and portals, dark portals and dark, deep engineering. So this philanthropy and charity are used as cover and it's, pretends it's celebrating art as a natural expression, but a lot is being accepted in terms of contract and agreements under the cover of its art, right? And we find layers of disguise there. Same for what is happening in politics with things like the United Nations, which is also a cover front for many other things, you know, agendas to be unfolded and to progress at a fast rate and affecting directly our lives. Uh, same for global warming agendas. There is this obligation. You, because of the laws and stuff, you are being pressured into you know, things that you have not really decided, but that are pressured on you by the matrix control system. And these things can be pretty stressful, you know, changing your car, you know, things like that, right? And you just have to do the work. It's part of the work, but you, you know, you have better things to do as well than that, right? It's just additional work. We find a lot of cover front as well for a lot of secret uh, service frequencies and or things like some worldwide known association for animals that are kind of doing the exact opposite of what they are pretending they are doing, right? In terms of celebrities, 
it was this woman on the on the talk show where she comes to talk about her book where she wrote about the story of her traumatic upbringing and the abuse she has suffered at the ends of her two stepfathers. And then it ends with her writing about the tale to go to Oxford University at the end as if it was a happy ending. But it's not a happy ending when you know more about what's really going on in universities and their links and ties with you know, Masonic and deeply MK Ultra templates. So, you know, it's only the understanding we have. Sometimes we feel gratitude for the lesson, but we haven't gone to the real core of the lesson yet, you know. And only when you address really you know only when you've done quite a big amount of work on your deep programming you can have much less of an engineered life so that's what happened a lot with celebrities who are real but pretty much the majority of original spark is that each is living a life that is greatly greatly engineered for them whatever how it looks because they have a lot of different templates and it does look different uh, but it is engineered according to who you are and your preferences and it changes it's not like there is one one path they have many so as soon as you exit one there is another one to catch you there you know for example in the healing field you can get caught in duty to these images and this ego seduction and it constantly tries to trap you inside of that. Again, celebrities who are sharing the deep bond they are they have with their handlers or just any original spark here, it is a cover story. Because your handler is not does not love you. If it's a main handler, not saying that they are not minor handling influences everywhere. And I mean everywhere, you know. But these ones, the major ones, when it's based on deceit and a fake mask, you know, that, you know, when you pierce through, uncover the mask. And it's called uncovering from the cover story that the Matrix was trying to, to sell you. So we understand, I mean, if you've been working on yourself, you know how these cognitive dissonance states are intense and you can only know so much as for now till the next moment. And we find a lot of reverse psychology with handlers as well that pretends to fight for a cause while underneath it's a cover-up for repression. You know, it tries to appear like it's defending the programming, but it's keeping you in your programming. It's keeping you enslaved instead of freeing your mind. And it's not what it pretends it is. Furthermore, what makes it more complicated here is that we have alters programmed by MK Ultra who can be very suggestible and sensitive. And if they are expressing, they have usually a totally twisted perception. They are programmed to the inversion. They are programmed with painful beliefs such as uh, pleasure is pain. So it created a great deal of confusion. And this confusion makes it harder to pierce through what's really going on. Uh, the twin flame concept as well, it's also a cover to give a name to these painful engineered relationships that are romantical 
but it's still quite a bit of a box and uh, well they they use the twin flame concept to gaslight you know people who are going through these phases and to make them believe it's something else and the, i mean what what really we need to be doing is to run away from these engineered relationships that are so destructive and that are trying to bring you to the dark side. We find also a lot of very self-serving motives disguising as, you know, under the cover of caring about others, caring about the environment, but the agenda is something else, right? Now, overt abuse, you know, we've all been through it. It's pretty out in the open. Covert abuse is hidden, devious, it is twisted, and much more sneaky. It uses gaslighting, so it's harder to trust, you know, in ourselves. Now we find a lot of cover memories in original Spark who still hold to the story that their childhood was happy when, you know, I mean, childhood is a time in teenager year for me, a time of intense torture just to have to deal with the choices of, you know, a poor discerning parent and a, a deeply angry parent as well, uh, causing, you know, years of torture in very engineered environments with a lot of backdrop technology just awful like awful because as a child you you're like you're like a pet you know they also very vulnerable to their surroundings you know children and and pets and when you look back at photos of your past you know when you see how much handling was around you how many engineer relationships were around? That's that's a lot, you know. There was barely any truth, barely any truth, right? You have to build the truth with your own deprogramming journey, and you can build more and more truth as you progress and find, you know, beings who are real more into the real and into real deprogramming as well. Now, the vast majority is programmed to be totally unconscious about playing a role in these false and cover stories. Yet you will be able to trace what's really happening in the frequency of your experiences and how you feel, you know. That's where you will discover the truth that can be very, very hidden. And um, these cover stories are also one of the reasons it is being made so complex here in relationships. First, we find these cover stories in between other people, you know, you, you know, like the more you've seen in your own life, the more you see in the lives of others around you. And you cannot help but see the cover and full stories they are they are busy with. Now, Everybody needs to have their own timing. And it's not like you can come and say, you know, that someone is involved with that. They have to discover it on their own. And then you can only validate it, their own perception, when, when they are doing the work for themselves. Or put a seat, maybe, you know, in the consciousness. But only when you work really on your MK ultra programming, you 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 get really 
skilled at dissolving these false stories, you know, recognizing them, breaking through them. And, you know, there is a sense of forgiveness for other original sparks who have been used negatively. We all have been. We are to some extent that we're not aware of, but some are to extent that are out of control, you know. If you do your best to, you know, be on the side of kindness, there are some damages, but they are limited. And people know they can come and talk with you and that you will care and listen if you love them. Because rarely original sparks are breaking through their mind control and the cover stories. And sometimes they were used as your handler and you know it, but this has to be enough, you know. And um, this has to be enough that you know it. Because rarely they become aware of, you know, these covered aspects on how they're being used as handlers. Now, if the core of the being has empathy, you know, you can go over what happened. If you change the conditions of what happened, then you're not finding yourself in the same conditions in the relationship you have with them. Then you can try again, you know, because even in good relationships, boundaries are being violated a little bit here and there. Because people are, I mean, we are so, every original spark is so unique, uh, so fervently absorbed into their own path. And this can cause a little bit of a tunnel vision and sometimes you're just not aware you're crossing people's boundaries. Um, but if they don't tell you, it's sometimes hard to become aware of it, except if you're breaking your programming and notice the details. And if you work with quantum apps, you know, quantum technology is great because it can help to trace discovered aspects. So it's not because someone is used as a handler once or different small times that they are, you know, completely dangerous for your mental health. You have to see with which being you are dealing with and, you know, basically you have to see if there is real love in the, in the general sense, not romantic love, but, you know, a sort of love, like some kind of respect and care. And not all races here are, are able to have that. And that's the lo a loss for some races. I wouldn't want that. I mean, it's difficult, challenging in us here. If you don't have these loving aspects, then they can be really comforting, these loving aspects. And you will find these moments. These are moments where you, you don't feel the space where you can even ask the questions. You know, there is just no space. Your mind is programmed, so there is no space for you to even formulate the questions to start critical thinking. That's, it's just block. There is just nothing. Yeah, that's how it's programmed. And it's programmed to feel like it's, Like it's away from you a little on the side and it's so easy to dismiss it, right? So you have to really do a lot of work to come back to it and just feel that it's there just because it feels so distant in your own mind. It's hard to explain, right? A lot of beings, they don't have a lot of awareness of 
how they are being used for distraction, for example, people who are, you know, remotely instructed to contact you for distraction, you know, they are not like, they are not bad. And sometimes you even like them a lot, but it's just the distraction energy that is you, you could easily do, do without, right? And you can just feel it when people are um, triggered to message you for distraction. And underneath all of that, we find, you know, contracts and agreements we are signing with different energies, frequencies, ET factions. And that's what makes a being, you know, all like some of all these little decisions of our everyday life where we give our energy to or where we don't. And the more you uncover, you know, four stories in your own life, the easier it gets to spot it everywhere around its frequency signature. And by constant observation, you keep on, you know, noticing repeated patterns to identify covert enemies, people who have not your best interest at heart people who are there as handlers in your life. And when you discover the cement of the true nature of what had been going on and what factions you are actually dealing with, it's a totally different angle to reread from. A lot of people are instructed to come into our lives for covert reasons they are not even aware of. But you will know it, especially if you are not someone who is sent like this in the life of others, you know. You have a great percentage of people. You have a big, much bigger percentage of people who are being sent your way and who you have to say no to, you know. And they become sometimes extremely offended. It's extremely triggering. It bruises the ego, which is one of the biggest points that they use to trigger people in their super soldier and ultra and my lab programming, where they become abusers and um, fighter types, persecutors. We find also cover stories when we are dealing with gang stalking. Um, you know, you have the logical storyline of why people are targeting you, why you are being targeted. But deep down, you know, the root is just the targeting programs and the gang stalking programs. This is as simple as that. That's the, 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 the root truth. It's to have a specific effect on your psyche. Uh, and we find in our lives a lot of different beings who are skilled to disguise handling. So it's not overt, but covert. We also find covered dreams, you know, they cover something else. They are placed there. Sometimes it's uh, decided what we will remember for a specific effect on our mind or what we will not. Now, sometimes you can break through it as well and gain some clarity, you know, like waking up or, you know, bringing back this piece of information about the true nature of your dream time. It might not be always, but when you do it, it also has a long lasting impact. So the word recovering from all these cover stories, false memories, so to keep on healing, it's important to 
be keeping on walking and protecting from the programming MK ultra programming in others that is violating not only for the psyche but for the energetic field to be letting others walk their path from a distance sometimes sometimes away because close the inverted systems are just using them to derail us and sabotage our life path for that we need to distance from those who trigger the darker aspects in us and to protect from those who intrude with ungranted access to our inner softwares So may we see even more clearly every day through all that is engineered, that is false, so the truth can truly shine and for us to stay connected to what is real here. It is one of the most beautiful paths if you want to protect your spirit signature. Thank you.